So, um, Scorpio, what do you have? Page of Swords and the Tower. Some shaky news, right? The Tower is kind of a situation, an explosive situation. Is the universe um, stepping in, right? To make a change, a force change in our life because we are not reading the signs. We do have the Tower with the High Priestess in reverse. And again, the sun Page of Swords is about communication, news, information, and knowledge that was brought to your attention and um, became kind of like, you know, like a tower moment by itself. Life got disrupted. And we have the High Priestess again in reverse. This energy of finding out secrets of revelations, energies of finding out something that was in the dark, uh, quite hidden about this, uh, this person of yours. Uh, Pisces Cancer energy too and now we have the tower with the ten of wands we are burdened by we found out something and it doesn't feel right and it makes us um, kind of all over the place and a bit responsible too but mainly overwhelmed right by what we um, just found out so let's see what this is all about it's a big news something we were not expecting so we do have the two of cups in reverse we do have the five of swords and the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups we might have to fight a little bit longer right we might be emotionally disconnected at a distance i might be picking up the energy of a long distance connection here with the two of cups in reverse and then we have the five of swords right we in order to have Nine of Cups wish fulfillment, Nine of Pentacles in reverse commitment, we have to stay strong and we have to fight Five of Swords. For some of you, what's separated from this person is this um, um, level of effort. It feels like somebody is really putting a lot of effort in, really struggling and fighting the good fight, right, of commitment of wish fulfillment, of giving to this connection while the other person might be actually just fighting. We'll see. So past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's see the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. And let's have the possible outcome. For you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles. Maybe a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn involved in this. Or this is fighting for stability, commitment, nurturing energies, loving energies between us. Money, abundance. You know, we might have... Um, Scorpio, we'll see how this reading goes, but we have nine of pentacles with the nine of cups. You know, this kind of energy between people where I might be all about wish fulfillment and happiness, you know? Um, one might come from this energy of, I just want to be happy. Don't talk to me about money. You know, they never bring happiness. Yeah, they bring comfort, but actually at the end of the day, it's all about happiness and love. While the other person is like, no, you don't understand the day we will not have money is going to be the end of the world, you know, because um, being able to acquire whatever goods, you know, I don't know, maybe it's important, maybe it feels good, don't know. Again, two different energies and that's why the five of swords and the two of cups in reverse is like um, emotionally disconnecting. Now, Scorpio, in the past, we do have the Hierophant in reverse and we do have the Six of Wands. This is being ashamed about a separation, being um, shadowed, being in that energy of uh, maybe not acceptance for some of you, but I'm mainly um, feeling a connection where we might have been in and out. There was love, there was separation, there was not love, and then there was love. And that kind of up and down up and down might be something we don't want to present to the world right we not we don't want to be seen as the one being unstable or going through some unstable situation you know it's kind of important to present an image of some sort an image of the king of pentacles i'm in control i'm nurturing i'm good i'm solid i'm i'm good right but you know under the surface we went through some struggles actually and um 
is a level of responsibility that you're taking and it's right here you know a level of um yeah i contributed to that and i'm not very proud it's I, it was not my bravest moment right uh or my sweetest so anyways that is this energy your way now this person of yours nine of wands a little bit guarded uh, maybe not allowing you 100 percent in their world and the page of swords but talking right page of swords communicating their blockages communicating their need actually to be left alone their need to be in their bubble to be uh, in kind of self-protected mode they might have um, told you that is this energy where they might have told you their pains or their struggles why they are blocking and um um you know this energy of um i i'll let you know every time you hurt me you know kind of energy um and then communication again right they express their self their selves that that is this energy of being smart in the way they communicate pain or they it might have but well being smart maybe having a certain way right because it has this energy of hurt but maybe it was communicated as, as a message that um, came across quite cold you know and then of course scorpio we had new beginnings right and then we had new beginnings we had the full and the ace of pentacles in reverse is this energy of um maybe we shouldn't invest some more in this you know and um might have been a foolish decision might have been a rush decision but maybe that's why they back and forth um that i'm picking up here an energy of um in and out and this instability was something kind of a shadow of this connection you know and um scorpio we have this energy here of um actually maybe that their lack of commitment was for you a form of um a form of shadows in this connection maybe somebody was more about unconventional kind of commitment while the other person might have been you know fully in so again coming from two different places two different energies and that that's what created like the foolish decisions rash decisions a little bit of impulsiveness so where are we right now we do have the two of pentacles we are trying to keep our whole world in balance and we do have the ace of wands in reverse resisting new beginnings resisting new chapters we are not passionate about what's going on but we keep going and we are dedicated and um and i want to say struggling but i'm more sensing that you are putting double effort um you know to have everything up and running and also there is this energy of showing that everything is all right that's a six of wands in reverse right this is we don't want to show something different we, we we're gonna put the effort to make it look like it's all right and um and we are in control for some of you you are actually focusing on work um even if you f don't feel like ace of wands in reverse is really dragging your feet and saying you know Zut, you know i don't care much but uh the two of pentacles it's you know we we need to work and we uh, keep ourselves in balance uh, because of it now this person of yours they have the queen of cups in reverse and the temperance in reverse maybe a sagittarius a pisces cancer scorpio water sign like yourself that is the energy of distance but that is also the energy of out of balance because of distance out of balance because of emotions they might be sad at, at this point queen of cups in reverse is the energy of sadness of isolation the energy of frustration and the energy of out of balance um lack of moderation for some of you temperance in reverse is actually all about indulging and um indulging because of sadness indulging because we want to um right to drain the uh, the feelings that we have right now and we want to get them drawn drown right and we want to cover them and keep them them um, away from us you know so they are not in a balanced place they they are not absolutely in a good place on the contrary and it is actually because of this connection you show up here right 
oh, sorry, with the Queen of Cups, um, you show up here. So that is not a shadow of the doubt that you impacted them in such a way. Mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the world and the eight of wands in reverse. This ending meant hanging for both of you. This ending meant um, like the world stopped for both of you ever since this ended. That's exactly the energy here. Um, I'm seeing you more active, right? I'm seeing you coping better. Uh, on their side, actually, they started very hurt and because of it, probably very harsh with the page of swords. You know, swords they cut, but right now that it ended brought a level of awareness to them and a level of, um, you know, oh my God, my life is not moving if they are not in it. And um, so it is, it is a chapter that ends right now. It is the end of something, you know, and it's the beginning of something new also. Um, I'm not sure you want to let go. No, I, they definitely don't want to let go here. But they are so emotional over this. So emotional. And probably some hurt from the past. There is a strong indication actually that they are going through the current challenges because they've been so hurt and, and the whole situation is very painful for them, Scorpio. Very painful. Very emotional. Very out of control. You know. And again, indulging that is this energy of, um, of abusing of something of some sort. Coming your way, we do have death, which is your energy with the nine of swords in reverse. I love this. This is peace of mind. This is finally having control over your mind. This is the energy of mind is no longer the enemy. And we can work with it and finally have a good night's nice sleep and finally start to plan and strategize. Coming into your own and moving uh, from, you know, a place of um, stress, moving from a place of overthinking and obsessing to simply being you and um, welcoming, right, emotions and the way you cope with this. Scorpio, they know better, right? Energy is coming their way. We do have the judgment and the seven of swords. This is the energy of them deciding to be honest. This is the energy, Scorpio, of them deciding to come, um, you know, in full truth. Make decisions from a place of truth. Make decisions from a place of judgment when it comes to you in this connection. And living behind old ways. They might have done something to you in the past. That's why this energy of commitment, lack of commitment, commitment, no commitment. And I'm, I'm sensing that somebody here again knows better. Judgment is the energy of awakening, of awareness. It's the energy of second chances. And this is what they want. They want second chances. And they are willing to live behind the old ways and shed some skin. And mutual energy is between the two of you. Ten of swords in reverse and the four of pentacles in reverse. This is taking a chance at happiness. Ten of swords in reverse is the energy of healing a, a past betrayal. And four of pentacles is like I've been guarded but I'm willing to take a risk if this means um, releasing the stress and forgiving and forgetting a form of, um, of, of betrayal, a form of pain, right? A form of um, disappointment um, between the two of you. And they are willing to make the, the big step, right? With the judgment. Somehow losing you, they realized that they want commitment and wish fulfillment and happiness. And you know, sometimes we say, that is a saying, I don't know if that is an equivalent um, in English, but sometimes we say that um, better with the worst than without the worst, but it's not the same as in where I come from. Um, the main um, idea is we already know a situation, we know its worst moments and its best moments. We can assess the full situation, so having it, it feels comfortable even if it's not the best situation, right? Because without it, it's even worse, so... And because we know it, it feels better, right? We, um, it's something that we, um, um, we got used to, kind of, you know? 
this is how it feels it's like somebody said probably no in the past and they said please respect my boundaries this is what i want to be please don't change me kind of energy you know and this communication and blockages but i'm not sensing they were blocking you but maybe there was a sense of blocking the ways you're doing stuff and things and um and then there was a world in between of you a world of distance and then boom right it became different um and somebody realized with the judgment that oh my god you know i really need to make a decision there and um and you being at peace i believe brings a new idea of you or a new idea of this connection that is this energy also um by the looks of it hey let's ask for some guidance shall we let's see what we need to do and then we say goodbye and then we go to sleep because it is late so when i'm filming this is actually very late so let's see the silver waterfall this is protection this is your own garden this is putting um some distance and a silver waterfall right between you and the situation and the person and it is all about you in the silver waterfall kind of like the secret garden we have worthiness scorpio this is this is big what's happening right now right this is big in terms of guidance silver waterfall is all about self-protection let me see if i find if i find just oops if i find just the words i i just wanna wanna read to you just the words there are a few words describing um this one and it's so beautiful we had it for another sign um what is the 32 okay let's have this one it's just a stay balanced healthy and happy by raising your own vibration scorpio that is the silver waterfall stay balanced healthy and happy by raising your own vibration so baby that is that and then that is worthiness right that is some self um self-care here self-healing honestly that is a journey a soul journey that you are guided right now right we are not guided towards the person you are guided towards yourself and scorpio listen with your heart you are listening but need to hear with a loving heart that is something you might be frustrated about um that is something you are no longer passionate it's like you know i'm kind of done here um focusing on yourself and now it's self-healing worthiness and listen to your with your heart that is something that you need and um, you need to know and understand about this person and Scorpio, that is something in your mind that we need to turn on your heart light, right? Reflect on a time when you experience love. We might be falling out of love. We might be going through an awakening of some sort. And in awakenings, we actually care about ourselves a little bit more and we focus and we recreate. We rewire the whole self system, right? And that's also the worthiness. Maybe maybe in this connection you forgot how worthy you are and now the universe is guiding you. Yes, listen to them, but actually turn your heart light and do this awakening or go go along, right? Travel along this awakening with um with love. Scorpio, we definitely need to heal something. We do have the distorted feminine. We might be actually tormented by something. We might not see the situation. We might be, again, distorted by this connection. And it falls right under the worthiness, right? So that is something we lost sight of. And we might have, um, you know, become distorted. And Scorpio, honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth, right? So listen with your heart, listen with love and speak with love. That is something that you need to share with this person uh, of yours. That is something that um, 
is distorted that needs to be made right actually this is how it feels okay and it's interesting we do have um self-care healing worthiness and a lot of honesty and listening and turning your heart like this i feel that the the universe is kind of asking you to do something about and is putting the burden of action more on you i would say but uh, you take it as it resonates right you take it as it resonates so let's see the guidance we do have surrender to divine timing sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing if a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego be patient and trust the universal flow so um kind of the universe saying i'm in control here but also there is a timeline on this we do have surrender procrastination now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off taking action will attract success scorpio i'm kind of hearing the time is now and it is a divine timing even if you wanted it prior to that or after right it is a divine timing on it and now the time is now and the whole guidance in regards to love is about you actually we do have detachment right we say honesty is essential i'm sensing that you know you have to detach from someone from something and now the universe is kind of confirming here you are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love i know we need to detach and we have guilt we have shame we started by saying that is something in the past that you feel ashamed of and now we have guilt right i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth so probably when we say distorted feminine here that is it's kind of a rush a rough um assessment right the distorted feminine is kind of um so maybe somebody feels distorted that's why the worthiness right you are reminded that you are worthy but that is this again shame and guilt that maybe um makes you see things from a distorted point of view right um we call them in therapy cognitive distortion but you know however this applies to you and we have the energy of surrender i can release my need to control bottom of the deck so detachment and surrender i would say procrastination divine timing and i know this person um they are about to make a final decision and they want to come from a place of judgment and discernment i would say but the guidance for some of you actually is stability self-nurture self-care um worthiness right soul's journey and work and inner work uh, the way i'm seeing it the way i'm receiving it for you scorpio but as always that's why i'm showing the cards because i know you want to see them and you can uh, resonate with them in a different way and that's all right you know um it's part of the readings it's part of the energy so scorpio this is all that i have for you guys you know i love you i wish you nothing but the best i want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time love you take care